Hi, I'm Florian. I'm founder and CEO of Polarstein Energy. We're a German utility, B Corp certified, Gemeinwohl uh, uh, economy certified utility. And I will tell you today something about purpose and business and how they get on together like brothers and sisters. And uh, because in a, in a normal company, the most people, they know what they do. So what jobs they have, which, which products they offer. And, but if you ask them how they offer them, so the USP, how the products, how the company is positioned, uh, already many, many people can't really give you an answer. And if you go one step further and you ask them why, why is this why does that company exist and why do they offer the products they offer? Many people would, uh, even they can't answer you or they will tell you yeah, because they want to earn money. But also with, even with the biggest companies now, uh, most of the time the reason never has been to earn as much money as possible because if you find a company you never know. You never can't be sure if it really works. So the reason behind that, the why, is often um, something very, very different. And the success and also earning money only is a result, but usually or almost never ever is the reason why a company has been found. So this golden circle is very important to know and to for, for the employees, and it's, very, and it's a very, very strong driver. And also for us at Polarstern, it has, a, it has been a huge driver. And so, what is our why? Our why is that talking about the way we use energy, the way we consume and we spoil resources uh, on this planet, um, it won't work for future. It won't work for my children and it won't work for, for, my, for the children of my children um, never ever. So because even especially in western parts, the, uh, we use or we needed 3.5 Earths if to continue our life, our standard of living. And obviously that won't work. So we really, we spoil our planet and which is uh, a, a big driver for climate change and especially the energy sector is one of the biggest, if not the biggest, <coughs> reason for climate change. And therefore, and that's the reason we, why we founded Polarstein, because with everything we have, we have the knowledge, we have the technology, and we have the awareness. We have the awareness that we have to do something, and we have the solutions. And this is exactly what we do as, at Polarstern as a green utility. We bring the energy transition to the people but not only with our products, but also the way we do business. Because the one thing is a product, the other thing is what, what's the idea, what's the aim of your company? So what's the purpose of your company and how do you bring that purpose to the people? And this is something, something special as a social business. As a social business, you have a so-called free bottom line. So it's not only about to make as much money as, as possible, but uh, we, uh, as a social business or B Corp certified business, you always um, have a uh, KPI, so key performance uh, indicators, um, that are wider, that are more holistic. So, of course, you have your economical uh, KPIs, like being profitable, if possible, and, but also, in the same time, uh, it's, a, uh, it's about social impact and it's about ecological impact. And so bringing this all together, this is what we do um, at Polarstein and what you do as a social business. That's the aim of a social business, doing business, but doing it not only for the, for the sake of money, as earning as much money as possible, but putting that, uh, the social and the ecological and the economical aspect in your DNA together. When I uh, studied, I studied in Cambridge and in Landshut, um, business, international business, it was, I was still conditioned in the very yeah, con conventional way, let's put it that way. So it was about d earning money and uh, having m one more zero in, on, it, on your EBIT, uh, et cetera. And, but it was never about the pur purpose. And I think if you consider the purpose 
It's a very, very strong driver. That's at least what we experience at Polarstern. And it's not uh, either or, it is both. So it really gets together very well. Uh, also, or especially, or in a market um, like a shark tank, like the energy market in Germany, because that, that market is very competitive. And it's a market where it's usually it's only about prices. But we showed that it's possible that you can, as a social business, you can be successful and you can be extremely competitive. Because thinking a bit different than on the short term, um, just on the short term money, but more on the holistic, why you do something, like in our case, bring the energy transition to the market, to the people, to urban areas, uh, it's a totally different way of thinking what you do and it's a it's more long-term thinking but it's all it is also more powerful and then you do business models uh, for example that maybe on a sp excel spreadsheet at the first view are maybe are not um, profitable in the uh, on the short run but in the long run it's uh, it's review uh, it's very profitable because you have a wider view you have a longer longer vision and broader vision and this is what we do at Polarstern. But thinking about energy transition, if you really take it serious, it's not only about uh, Germany. We can, do, we can get green in Germany and think, oh, we're so good and we're the best. But I think that, we're, that's, that doesn't make any sense. They're, because if you're talking about climate change and you take it serious, um, the climate and, or in the climate change uh, has no frontiers. Uh, the frontiers are just made by, ma by mankind, but not by nature's. Therefore, with each customer, we also support and with uh, uh, families in Cambodia and in Madagascar um, to make their own tra energy transition. So we started in Cambodia, and um, together with our customers, we get the funding, so just but the, the start funding, um, to build um, microbiogas plants. So very simple microbiogas plants, so where the people, where the farmers, where local farmers can use the dung of the cuddle, um, especially to produce their own biogas. And this biogas is been, or is, yeah, they use to cook, uh, on, on cooking and uh, cooking rice and uh, et cetera. And uh, the most important thing is that they produce their own fertilizer. So their own, own organic fertilizer and they don't have to buy uh, industrial fertilizer, chemical fertilizers anymore. And they have more, they have more output, and by this output, these uh, biogas plants, they amortize within one year. So it's a very, very positive circle um, we start together with our customers, and it's a very easy way. And it's 20 euro per year per customer, and with this 20 euro, you have a huge impact. And the next step is, or was about one year ago, to go to Madagascar. Because as a utility, we're, we're providing gas, but we're also pro providing electricity. So to make it, uh, to make it um, round, um, we uh, decided to go to Madagascar with, uh, together with Africa Green Tech. Africa Green Tech, which is a social uh, business um, from Germany, but now also based in Madagascar. With their, own, uh, with their own company, and there we um, establish so-called solar impact sites. So it's not only the gas site there, it's a, it's a solar site, and we electrify uh, rural um, villages, so areas with no electricity or only electricity based on uh, diesel engines. And uh, the idea behind that is we're by uh, um, providing the PV electricity, so green electricity, decentralized resilient electricity. Um, it's for uh, people, obviously they have electricity and they can use the electricity for, for water pumps, for cool tainers, to, um, because right now uh, on a worldwide view, more than 40% of the, of the production, so of the um, nutrition, uh, uh, is waste because due to um, the, uh, the lack of, um, of cooling. And therefore, so, uh, such a cool tainer has a, has a huge impact. And if you have electricity, all micro-businesses, they're easier to establish, and therefore the idea is 
and we do that together with universities here in Munich, the TU Munich. Um, the idea is to establish local microeconomics and to establish these uh, this, uh, circles. And so step by step, this, um, this, uh, this um, plant, this project will be rolled all over, uh, out all over um, um, Africa. But it's not only about, it's not only about doing something good, as I said, it's like social and business. It's like brother and sister. Um, it's also, it also has a, lot, a huge impact, a lot of impact. And it, and it works. And uh, that's why I'm showing you this slide. It shows that it's kind of like a red line. So we, by having more purpose and, and putting purpose and business together, it's, for us, it always was much easier to do our business because we had a, a moral, we, ha we had a value-driven guideline to do business. We, all, we always knew, and also our employees, they always knew and they always know why we do this and why we're working uh, on, the, uh, on the energy transition. And, um, and it made us quite successful and, and especially very innovative. And this is something you also uh, studies show that social businesses, they are more innovative than conventional businesses because they focus, they focus on the why and they, uh, the, often they don't have the financial backing um, to, uh, yeah, to just, to just um, take over a market. So they have to think different, but they have a red line uh, based on values um, that is a, perfect guideline and that makes, for example, us as a Polarstein also successful. So if you're not interested to run your or to start your own social business, go for it. it, it it's fun and it's going to be successful. And if you're eager to know more about Polarstern or maybe even looking for work at Polarstern, contact us www.polarstern-energy.de. Thanks. <laughs>